Hey guys, welcome to another video. I haven't shown my face on my channel in a while because I took a bit of a break, so I just wanted to take the time to say hi and I hope you guys are doing well. If you've seen my studio vlogs before, you know that I spend a lot of time in this area because this is where I package my orders, so I thought it would be fun to give you guys a little tour of this area, go a little more in depth about everything, show you how everything's organized and let you know where some things are from. But first, I actually need to reorganize this closet that's behind me a little bit. This is where I keep all of my shipping envelopes and boxes and spring fill and whatnot. But when we first moved in, I kind of just threw everything in there. I had intended to put some storage cubes that I had in my last studio in there. So that's what I'm going to do today. I'm going to do a little reorganization makeover of this closet behind me and then I'll show you everything once it's done. So let's get into this closet. I realized I wanted to show you exactly where my packing area is located. So right here, this is the front door, and you can see that the packing area is actually pretty close to the front door just because there's kind of like a little nook area in this room, but I really wanted to utilize that space just because this studio is a bit tinier than my last studio, but it has more wall space, so it actually has more space for all of my stuff than the last studio. So that's where my packing area is and that closet right there is where I store all of my shipping supplies so let me show you that so from this angle it looks pretty empty because everything's on the floor or on the top so I have some shipping boxes right here some small padded envelopes some what is this called green wrap e-wrap um, that I use for packaging mugs and then these are just some priority mailboxes from USPS in case I'm packaging large orders. I have some tissue paper that No Issue Co. sent me and some 100% recycled white tissue paper from Eco & Close. There's some jewelry boxes, spring fill, the envelopes that I use most regularly they're just six by ten flat craft envelopes from eco and clothes some larger envelopes and a random tripod you can see it's not very aesthetically pleasing so we're gonna organize that a little bit today i'm not sure how many cubes i can make but i think i want to do two columns maybe three or four rows and then I can remove all the stuff from these boxes and just put it in the cubes and have more space for when I order more for the holiday season. So hopefully that'll make it look much better.
right, there's two cubes full of the jewelry boxes. So now I'm just gonna move on to the envelopes. I think I'm just gonna move that all the way over and then just stick the spring fill box in there. Okay, so this looks a lot more spacious and organized now. So I've got some extra room up there some more room down here and then if I need to stack spring fill boxes or if I order a bunch of jewelry boxes then I still have space to stack boxes there if I need to. I saw someone on YouTube who has like the IKEA they're like stackable plastic bins with a little flap in the front I'll, I'll put a picture up so that you know what I'm talking about but I'm thinking that the next time I'm in Northern Virginia and can go to the Woodbridge Ikea, I'm probably going to get that to put the spring fill in them because that's what she used it for. And she had two really big boxes with spring fill and it just looked really neat. So hopefully we can get our hands on those. So I kind of mentioned where stuff was from before, but let me go over everything. So this is spring fill. This is really good for fragile items. I mostly use it for mugs and to fill the void when I send ring boxes because I use these boxes to send my ring boxes and there's just like a little void on either side of the ring box. So this is from bagsandbowsonline.com and I believe they're made in the USA and they're made with partially recycled content and it's just paper so of course it's recyclable and biodegradable. These jewelry boxes are also from bagsandbowsonline.com. These are, for sure, I know they're made in the U.S. and they have some recycled content. They're three and a half by three and a half inch squares. The only thing that I don't like about these boxes is that the little cotton that's inside of them, it's pretty thin. So whenever I put a bracelet or just one thing in here, it'll still rattle around. So I cut this tissue paper into squares and put that in there to help fill the void. So even though I don't like the cotton in them, I just get them because they're made in the US and made with some recycled content. These are some tab locking boxes from ecoenclose.com. I have a discount code below, so you can use that if you'd like. But they're made with 100% recycled content, and I believe they're 8 by 6 by 2 I'll correct myself if I'm wrong. These are boxes from Uline. These were the first boxes that I ever got, so I'm not going to get them from Uline again because they're not made with 100% recycled materials, and I would prefer that. But these are 6x6x7 six by six by inch boxes. And they fit mugs really well. They can fit up to two 11 ounce mugs, so I like that. And if it's only one mug, then I put tissue paper and a bunch of spring fill. I mentioned these earlier, but this is 100% recycled white tissue paper from ecoenclose.com. And this is tissue paper that I designed and got sent to for free by No Issue Co. The only downside is that it's not made from recycled content, it's not made in the US, and the good thing is that you can order pretty small quantities of these if you want custom tissue paper. And Eco Enclosed does offer custom tissue paper, but you have to order a bunch <laughs> for it to be cost effective. This is called Green Wrap. I got it from Eco Enclosed. It's basically like a eco-friendly bubble wrap because you can open up 
the paper like that so it provides extra cushion for fragile items. Those are just boxes from USPS for larger orders or priority mail orders. So yeah, that's everything in my packaging closet right now and I'll move on to my packing desk. So this is the full view of my packaging desk. I still have the boxes that I took out from <laughs> inside of the closet, but this table is from Ikea and it's the perfect height to be able to stand while you're packing your orders. So let's start over here. I got these acrylic little squares from Amazon. They used to be inside of my Ikea Alex drawers, but I just put them up here and they're really nice for organizing small things. These are my necklace cards for my Peas and Love shop. These are my necklace and earring cards for my Potty Mouth shop. I just cut them out myself from craft paper that I get from Michael, so I just print my design and cut them out and it's pretty cost effective that way. These are my polishing cloths that I include in all of my metal jewelry orders. I get them on Amazon and I used to not be able to find them plastic free. They used to come like this, but after searching for a really long time or maybe a shop just started offering them, I finally found them in packs of 100 without any plastic. So I prefer that and I'll just give these away at events, but I like my packaging to be all plastic free. So I just put these inside of these glassine when I pack my bracelets and necklaces. These little glassine envelopes are from Anastasia Marie shop on Etsy. They're wax free and they're 100% recyclable and biodegradable because they're just paper. And I really like them because they have this fancy rounded top and they close like an envelope. So they're really cute and I use these to package my bracelets and necklaces. I have larger ones over here, but I almost never use these. Maybe if someone orders like a larger key tag or a bunch of stickers, I'll use these. And then these ones are my smaller ones and I use those to put these acrylic keychains in. Over here is my Dymo 4XL label writer printer. So I print my shipping labels from here. It does have a front cover but I removed it because it's easier to tear the paper better without it. I use eco-enclosed shipping label paper, so it tears more easily than other shipping label paper, so I just did that so I wouldn't rip the next shipping label that's in there. Here I have the stuff that I include in my orders, my thank you cards, and my business cards. I have them in this acrylic holder that I got from Home Goods, so unfortunately I can't link it. It was just a really lucky find. It didn't even have a price tag on it or anything, so the cashier just had to charge me for something random for me to get it. These thank you cards, again, I make myself by printing and cutting them with this craft paper that I get from Michaels. These are business cards that I ordered a bunch from Vistaprint, but I'm probably going to order them from Moo.com or just somewhere else that offers recyclable paper options. I'm not sure if Vistaprint started offering recycled paper. I'll check into that, but I've heard that Moo.com offers recycled business cards. Here I have some hand sanitizer that I used before packing orders that I got from Trader Joe's. I really like this one. It's lavender. And then this one was one that I used up already and filled with water because I use water activated tape for packaging my boxes so I just spray the water onto the tape. I know that there's dispensers for water activated tape that when you roll it it'll wet the tape for you but I just enjoy this method better. In the back I have some of the jewelry boxes that I had in the closet just for easy access. This is water activated tape that I got from Amazon. I didn't want to have to get a fragile stamp or fragile stickers when I'm sending fragile items. And the majority of the time that I'm packaging something in a box, it's because it's fragile. So I just thought that this was more convenient. This is a little paper cutter that I got from Amazon and I just use that to cut slits in the corner of my earring cards to turn them into necklace cards. Back here, I have a piece of, 
do you call this like corrugated corrugated cardboard I don't know what it's called but you can see like that there's some holes in it and that's because I just use that to poke holes into my earring cards okay back over here I got these pegboards from Ikea I really like them I like the wood tone ones and they're really good for hanging items that you already have made I got these two because I think you're supposed to put like tubes like of wrapping paper through them but I don't even use wrapping paper so I don't know why I, why I got it but I'm just hanging my headphones here and then a bunch of pliers over there on that one this one is like the most handy one. It's really good if you have a lot of washi tapes or tapes or twine. Um, so I hang my stainless steel extender chains. I have a gold stainless steel here, regular stainless steel that I need to get more of because it's almost gone. I have my washi tapes that I use to close my glassine bags. These two are from Michaels. This one's out. I need to get more. And this one's from Amazon. These are twines that I I believe I got them from Anastasia Marie shop the same shop that I get the glassine from and I got this minty one for my potty mouth shop and the green one for my peas and love shop and when I would wrap my totes in tissue paper I used to put like a little bow of twine on it too but I don't really do that anymore I don't know sometimes when I feel like it I'll do it I'll try to incorporate it somehow so that I can just use it because I've had it for a couple years now and here are just some ready to ship items. I have some cherry wood key tags, some acrylic keychains, some acrylic earrings, and then these are just some ornaments that I'm working on and designing and photographing, so I just keep them up there. This is red satin ribbon that I get from bagsandbowsonline.com also that I use for my ornaments. This lamp right here I got from Ikea and I just have it facing up so that the light can bounce <laughs> back down and distribute more evenly because it's just too harsh when it's facing down, especially for videos. These little drawers from Ikea are also super handy, so I'll go through what's in them. These are micro polishing pads and these are really good for buffing out really light scratches on metal or if you're using brass or copper and it's tarnished, it's also really good at getting that tarnish off and making your jewelry super shiny again. This is some vegan waxed cord and I used to make men's bracelets with these by cutting out the phrase in wood like that if you can see the key buffing going right there and I would just loop the waxed cord in the holes and turn that into a bracelet. These are some freebie stickers. This is a design that I just ended up not liking and never selling and then this one is a design that sticker app messed up cutting it so I gave it out as freebies for my first update on my own Shopify website. These are some stamps that I use for my packages. For my peace and love shop I put this stamp that says hand stamped with love and I got this from the stampmaker.com. So this is a stamp that I designed myself and ordered through this website and they make really good stamps. So I highly recommend getting stamps from the stampmaker.com and rubberstamps.com because they always come out really nice and I've used this for years and it's still super clean and hasn't warped or anything. I got a stamp sent to me from No Issue and after a few months it warped really badly and I couldn't use it anymore. <laughs> And then this little stamp, I believe was from Michaels, and it just says kindness enclosed. These are little wire ties that you sometimes get in packaging and I just save them for I don't know what reason, <laughs> just in case they're handy or maybe for some cable management. These are my earring findings and posts, so I have little rubber backings there, the little butterfly backings, and some stud posts, and then just some random bits down here. Here I have stainless steel heart keyrings, circle stainless steel keyrings, 
stainless steel clasp to put on the end of keychains. One of my viewers requested a clasp instead of the key ring end just so that she could clip it on easier on your keys so I ordered those. These are some 18 inch and 24 inch chains that I use for my acrylic necklaces. And then these are some random findings. These are clamp ends for a faux leather sheet bracelets that I wanted to make, some posts, some butterfly ends, more posts, so just random stainless steel bits that I don't use that often. And then this is like a little random drawer of screws and nails and picture hangers and Allen wrenches and you know stuff that you don't use often but it's super handy to have. Here I have some tools like X-Acto knife blade replacements, a hole puncher, and some scissors. Someone asked me before where these scissors are from and they're from Anastasia Marie shop. I think she has them in rose gold and gold. I've had it for a long time so it's faded a little bit but they're super sharp and cut pretty cleanly. Here I have some USPS stamps for my sticker mail, some random pencils, and just a lonely Cricut weeding tool. This is some permanent double-sided tape, and I use these for my sticker orders for the envelope so that you don't have to lick the inside of the envelope. So I just use this to roll some double-sided tape on the edge and close it up and it works really well. Some extra acrylic earrings here and then these are all of my waterproof vinyl stickers that I ordered from Sticker App and are available on my shop. We're almost done here. I'm like out of breath. This is a really cute rainbow macrame that I got a really long time ago from Careless Threads in Georgia. These are shipping label rolls from Eco Enclosed that are super awesome because both the backing and the adhesive on the shipping label are 100% recyclable. So if you package your stuff in a paper-based envelope, then your customer can recycle the whole thing even with the label. And I use that with my Dymo, Dymo label printer. This is a random little gnome that I got from Home Goods just because I thought it was cute. And this is my favorite candle from Evil Queen. It smells just like Fruity Pebbles or Fruit Loops. Here I always keep some polishing cloths because when I'm packaging my bracelets or stainless steel necklaces, I just like polishing it off a little bit to get my fingerprints off of them. This is an ink pad from No Issue that got sent to me for free with that rubber stamp that they sent me and even though I'm not using the rubber stamp anymore this still has a bunch of ink left so still using that. This I got from Home Goods. Oh I forgot to mention that this was thrifted and it just so happened that my water activated tape perfectly fit in there so that was really cute. My mom <laughs> my mom ordered some tape and she was like can I get the dispenser that you have? I'm like I don't I don't have a dispenser she's like that little cute thing that you put the tape in I'm like oh this thing <laughs> that's just thrifted it's not even meant for the tape I just got lucky she's like oh dang it but these are my stickers that I make with my Cricut machine and I use going close zero waste lined shipping label paper so this is the shipping label paper it's at the bottom here it looks like this but this is the shipping label paper that you can put in like a regular printer and it has a slit down the middle so that it's almost the size of the labels from like a roll when you print them out and I just buy them so that I can make my own stickers that are recyclable. <laughs> so that's my hack. I have a video on how to do that. So I just have logo stickers for my Peace and Love shop, my Potty Mouth shop, smaller ones, thank you stickers, happy mail stickers, and so on. Down here I have little envelopes 
for my sticker mail. Usually on this one I have pre-cut tissue paper from my white tissue paper. I cut this into six and like I mentioned earlier, I use a little piece of tissue paper to fill the void in these. So I usually pre-cut a bunch and put that there, but I just ran out. This is the craft paper from Michaels. I think it's called craft cardstock and it's 60, I believe it's 60 pound craft paper because a lot of people ask me how I print on cardstock with a regular printer but my HP OfficeJet 5740 seems to handle 60 pounds pretty well. And then again this is just the shipping label paper from Eco Enclosed that I used to make my own stickers. This is my water. <laughs> These are acrylic keychains that I engrave and cut in bulk and I just organize them in here so then when people order keychains I can just assemble them as I'm packing really quickly. And then here I have my iPad with the stand that I got from Ikea and has stickers from Lee Ellickson. And lastly is my 2015 MacBook Pro that I just use basically for responding to customer messages and printing my shipping labels because unfortunately the Dymo is not Bluetooth, you have to connect it via USB. So this one's super old, <laughs> which is why I just leave it here. <laughs> this was like my first big girl purchase when I was 20 and I was so happy to have a MacBook Pro and it made work so much easier but it started slowing down once I started making YouTube videos and I got a 2020 MacBook Pro. So that's everything in this corner. Oh I forgot this clock is from Ikea and I just got it because it's mint because I really like those mint and blush pink colors. And the last part of this area is this little hanging that I have on the door here. I just hung it with a command hook and I have this little organizer that I got from Etsy. Sad story, I got this from Etsy from what I thought was someone that handmade it and I later found out that they just got it from Wish. <laughs> but whatever, it's still cute. And in here I just have some Loctite glue. This is what I use for my wooden studs. It's my favorite glue so far, much better than E6000. I have some extra pens that my mom probably got for free back when she was like an extreme couponer. <laughs> some Mod Podge Dimensional Magic for when I want to use, what are they, bezels, cabochons? I don't know what they're called, but you put pictures in them and then you just put that on top to protect it. It's almost like resin. Here are my international shipping stamps and here I just have some muslin cloths that I use for packaging my ring boxes and I think I just got these from Amazon. So that's everything. Hopefully I covered everything. If there's anything that I missed that you wanna know where it's from, just let me know. My hair looks completely different than what it did in the beginning of the video, it's starting to get curly because I was sweating so much <laughs> doing all of this stuff in the closet there. But I hope you guys enjoyed. This is my full little corner right here where I package all of my orders. So I hope that was helpful and it helps inspire you if you're looking to start a small business and want to see all of the stuff that I use or if you just want some inspiration for how to organize your packing area. Thank you guys for watching. Let me know if you have any questions down below and I'll try to respond to everyone. Bye!